Okay, it's very important to realize that a chessboard acts just like a graph in mathematics. And as you learn the game of chess, you need to understand how to plot a point on the board. Because that's how players and um, publications communicate games and positions on a chessboard. So it's important to note, along the bottom or top, uh, there will be letters, uh, lowercase letters that is, and that's actually pretty important when we get into chess later and numbers along the side. Uh, if you have a chessboard that doesn't have those, uh, you're going to find it very helpful to maybe either add them if you're comfortable uh, writing on a board if you have a cheaper set, or um, if you don't want to write on the board, then add them with pieces of paper when you sit down at a chessboard. Uh, because what we need to do is learn how to identify squares on the chessboard. And again, it's going to be just like plotting a point on a graph. So if I were to choose this square right here, that square has a coordinate attached to it in uh, the world of chess. And it's used by first identifying what letter, that's the B, this is under the B column, which is, uh, these are called ranks and files, so this is actually called a file in chess, uh, so columns are called files and it's under the three, or the third rank, if you will. So this square that I have highlighted is the square B3. And we need to be able to identify every square on the chessboard. Uh, I'll show you a couple of more, and then I highly recommend that you practice, because you should be able to identify every square on the board. I'll pick one a little bit farther away, like maybe this one right here. Okay, well, again, we need to start with the letter, E, and this is this is um, E, the E file, and this is the seventh rank. So this is the square E7, E7. So again, we need to get used to every square on the board. I'd recommend that you practice. This square right here is the H3 square, so that would be H3. This is important because a lot of times you'll watch if you see a chess movie or you watch chess players or they're talking about their games they'll say things like knight to f3 well th all that means is someone moved knight to the f3 square and so you can identify in your mind that someone just moved a knight to that square on the board so practice Take a look if you need to pause the video here just so there's a blank board in front of you. Try to see if you can name uh, as many squares as you can on the board. Uh, name them all if you want to, uh, but just make sure that you can name every square on the board. It's very crucial in upcoming chess knowledge.